Hello everybody and welcome to this lesson on tax credits after the Inflation Reduction Act where we're going to be reviewing the impact of the Inflation Reduction Act that was introduced in 2022 on the tax credits particularly on production tax credit and investment tax credit which renewable projects in the United States can claim. So uh, first let's remind ourselves about the federal tax credits in the United States. They can either be investment-based, uh, hence it's called investment tax credit, or they can be based on performance and therefore called production tax credit. Uh, the tax credits uh, under the Inflation Reduction Act are applicable to solar, they are applicable to wind, storage, and other technologies such as hydrogen. However, we are going to be focusing on only solar and wind in this course. As we know from our uh, previous lessons on the tax credits or old lessons on the tax credits, the tax credits offsets taxes on a dollar for dollar basis, which basically means that one million of tax credits result in the reduction of tax payables of one million. If you compare tax credits, for example, to depreciation expense, then you will see that uh, one million of depreciation expense does not have the same impact as one million of tax credit on tax payable. One million of depreciation expense reduces your taxable income by one million. And to calculate its impact on tax payables and how much savings we can have from this depreciation expense, we can simply take this, uh, this one million depreciation expense and then multiply it by the tax rate of 21%. And we're going to get 210,000 of savings from the depreciation expense. As I just said, the tax credits are divided into performance-based and investment-based, and the production tax credit is a performance-based tax credit, and it is based on the energy produced and sold over the first 10 years after the project is placed in service. It means that uh, initially our tax credits calculations are based on our forecasted energy production and energy sold. However, uh, if our actual energy production is less than what we have forecasted, then the actual tax credits earned will be less than what we have forecasted. So uh, the PTC or the production tax credit can be applied quarterly to estimated taxes to be paid quarterly. The base PTC number is 0.6 cents per kilowatt hour and full PTC rate is 3 cents per kilowatt hour. Projects can claim additional bonuses of 10% if they meet domestic content criteria and another 10% if they meet energy community criteria. Renewable energy projects that were placed in service in 2023 or later will need to meet wage and apprentice criteria to claim full PTC rate of 3 cents per kilowatt hour. We will talk about different criteria and bonuses under the Inflation Reduction Act in our next lessons. Renewable energy projects that were placed in service in 2021 or earlier can claim the full PTC rate of 2.9 cents per kilowatt hour. PTC can be carried forward 22 years and it can be carried back 3 years. PTC will phase out in 2032 or when emission from electricity production is lower than 75% of that of 2022. The PTC will transition to technology neutral credit in 2025 but the terms of the tax credit will essentially remain the same. Let's now go over the PTC example just to see how PTC is calculated. And uh, what we're going to do, we will assume that uh, the project has a life of five years and we generate 30,000 megawatt hours uh, every year in this renewable energy project. And next, we will assume that we can claim the PTC of $10 per megawatt hour. This is just an assumption to make our life easier. And we are assuming that we can claim the PTC only during the first three years of the project. Again, we are just making an assumption. In reality, as I just said, you can claim the PTC over 10 years after the project has been placed in service. So at $10 per megawatt hour, uh, this will generate annual PTC of 300,000. Next, we will also assume that we can sell our energy at $60 per megawatt hour. 
This will generate 1.8 million every year. We will also assume that operating cost is $15 per megawatt hour. And that means that we have to spend 450,000 every year on operating costs. And then uh, taking the revenue and deducting the operating cost from it, we'll get to the earnings before tax, which is 1.35 million per year. So now we have determined the earnings before tax. And the next step is to calculate how much tax we have to pay on these earnings before tax. We will assume that our tax rate is 25% just to make our life easier. This is just an assumption. And we will apply this 25% to the EBT. So multiplying 1.35 million by 25% will give us the tax payable of uh, 330k per year. So now that we have the tax payable, we can apply the PTC that we have calculated previously to this tax payable to see how it will impact how much taxes we have to pay. The PTC rate was, uh, our PTC amount was 300k per year. And since we can apply the PTC to the tax payable, we will simply take the tax payable and deduct the PTC from it, which will result in the tax payable reduction of 300k in the first three years. So, in the first three years, as you can see, we will be paying only 38k in taxes, which is significant reduction in taxes for the first three years, and then in year four and in year five, we will go back to paying the full tax amount, which is 338k in our example. And finally, we will calculate the net income after tax, which is earnings before tax less tax that we have to pay after applying the tax credit. And we generate a net income after tax of 1.3 million in the first three years. So that's the basic example of how you would calculate the PTC and how you would apply the PTC to the tax payable. Obviously, there are some complications arises if the project does not generate positive income and instead is incurring losses, in which case PTC has to be carried forward until such time when the project becomes profitable. And with introduction of tax equity investor, we have to calculate the allocation of tax credits between parties in accordance with tax rules.